Education 1. What a way to start for Oregon State on what is, at times, the team's worst event. They do very well on the beam. It's a nice one to have under your belt, let me tell you. <laughs> and coming up in rotation two, three schools make their debut this evening. Cal Stanford and UCLA. Arizona State will move to the bars. And we will see some great performances by Stanford on the floor this rotation. But we're going to go to ASU, start off with the Sun Devils again, and Kim Skinner on the bars. Their coach, John Steeney, in his 19th year at Arizona State, long ago, he established his program amongst the elite. last year. Ball time between UCLA. Oh, and she's just added this ball. It's worth a 10.0. And this is one of the and Kelly Christensen. There's just a ton of poise and charisma on this ASU team. Really throughout the whole gym. Such a nice atmosphere during warm-up. Very relaxed. Is having a lot of fun warming up. It's the one thing nice about college that competes so often, unlike prior to your collegiate career in elite gymnastics. You might have three weeks a year. They compete every weekend just about throughout the season. And usually that results in very consistent performances. Nice job. The bars, that's usually the telltale event. Well, Kirli Hayashi was uh, supposed to be in this spot. But for UCLA, Valerie Velasco on the vault. So we'll have to find out about Hayashi and the reason why she is not vaulting for UCLA. But this is Velasco. Boy, tough to come in this last minute. Yeah, mentally you're prepared not to vault, and then you have to come in. This is a handspring front pike. Oh, pretty good vault. A little rough on the landing, but it's like what pretty great. Great year next year. Recruiting class is absolutely awesome, and they're looking for their eighth top ten title here tonight. She's got a pretty big score on that first ball. She improves on the landing. UCLA can look for another big score here. Oh, no. Not off good. from the very beginning, you could see her hands were not on the horse. She is a 5'5 junior from Burke, Virginia. Second best all-around performer. 38.657. I love this gymnast. She has such uniqueness in all of her routine. Just a joy to watch. Reed was watching her on the bars, but she is a team NCAA champ and two-time All-American. Watch this. Jam through. Ooh. The inverted giants. Beautifully love done. That. You don't see these that often in collegiate gymnastics. And a one-and-a-half twist dismount right out of them. Nice job. And at five foot five, she's from Elizabeth Reed. On the beam, the California Golden Bears. Mari Oliver. Oh well, B E R. Mari Oliver, five four, star four from Minneapolis. I'm speaking to their coach, Tina Tinty, who's in her second year as head coach really still trying to build up the program. And you know what's interesting, Kathy? This is a program whose one loss record is worse than last year, but they're much better gymnastics because they're having a better season. Absolutely. It takes time. As she says, I mean, they're even changing their philosophy in terms of the way they train and the way they put together structure. A lot more training. And to some of the older gymnasts who have been there, it's a harder transition for them. Now, Cal lost four potential starters at the beginning of the year to injuries. They, they have virtually no depth, but a nice freshman class coming in and learning. Their best ever finish in this competition is fifth. They never won a Pac-10 back in 1985. They won the 16 North Pac. and it's been a good year. Every single gymnast on the squad has established at least one career high this year. And over there, the dismount on the beam. The ball competition, 
a few weeks ago, and she is so good at this. And it really showed that UCLA wants to win. They would not have put her in this event. She hadn't vaulted in five years before she vaulted Tracy one last year. Tracy Cole, the senior. that pole, a perfect mark in the floor versus UMass, puts on a show. has improved so much over the last few years. Really gotten much. From Ontario, Canada, the Pac-10 vault yeah. champion. Oh, very nice vault. One of the more difficult vaults being done in the competition. And as mentioned, she won this event last year. She just won the Iron Woman Award at UCLA, 39 of 40 events. Wendy Ellsbury, ASU, on the bars. Release move. Top average on this team, 975 on this event with a high of 99. Good. 9875 for Ellsbury. UCLA's Heidi Moneymaker. We highlighted her at the top of the show chance at the all-around junior from Santa Rosa. This is moments ago. Wow, that is a sensational ball with a 